Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to look at the Brava short back mortise lock. Uh, this is the Brava 50903SC. So this is a short back mortise lock. People like this lock because of the way it fits into actual doors. It's extremely thin. I'll just grab a ruler. Now this is commonly used on aluminium uh, shop fronts, aluminium doors. This is the lock right here. It has the bolt which flicks up and flicks down. This is the face plate here. I'll take you through that as well. It comes with two escutcheons already built in. So these escutcheons here would simply slide over the top of the cylinder. I'll quickly assemble this lock for you so you can see what's involved in it comes with two cylinders as standard. Now if you do want a turn snib on the inside it's an additional cost which we can provide for you and I'll show you the turn snib as well. This is the turn snib here, same manufacturer Brava, lower packaging. So here's the turn snib right here. Now if you order a turn snib from us will put the right cam on the back so you can just put your lock together. This one here comes with bunny ears. It is suitable for this type of lock but not this particular one. So other locks do take bunny ears, similar locks. So first of all you've got your lock you would uh, put into the door. Take note when you do put this into the door try and put your finger through it. You do not want to drop this inside the cavity of the door otherwise it can be extremely hard to retrieve. I'll give you some specifications on it. Uh, Body width there is about 36. And around where the bolt is, you're probably with the bolt protruding, probably talking uh, about 38, almost 40. The length here is 180. The bolt length is about 55, but it protrudes about 30, 30 mil roughly. We'll measure that once we've got it all assembled. Uh, the depth again, yep, we've done the depth. Uh, the width, I'll go from the fattest part here, which is these two plates. Uh, we're looking about 25, roughly. So it's quite a very thin and narrow lock. So when you assemble it, you would put this into the door. You would put your cylinders through from the other side. There's two screws here, which are these long retaining screws, if you can see them, one and two. You would put one and two in that side. To retain the cylinders. When you put the key in and you flip it, the bolt protrudes that much. Now these do come in three different sizes. You've got small, uh, small hook, sorry, small one, and then the long one, and then the hook one, which is long as well. So the protrusion on that is probably about 23 mil. There's the bolt there. So when you turn your key, just release it. Oh, sorry jumping out because I haven't put the uh, cylinder retaining screws in. Locked, unlocked. Now with this type of cylinder it's only retained in by the one pin here which means that when it's on the door it is common to get a little bit of rock here backwards and forwards on this cylinder because it's only retained on one spot. When you put your escutcheons on they just slide straight over the top. After you've fitted everything you just slide them straight over the top. It's a little bit hard to do there. Okay, there we go. It's got little plastic uh, parts on the back. If you can see them there, little plastic uh, lunks to hold it into place. That's how it looks uh, coming through the door. If you can imagine like that, you would just simply see the cylinder coming through. These plastic things slide on and off. So, you know, if you've lost one, we can sell them to you. Um, but yeah, basically they just slide on and off. They're just a decoration. They're not uh, part of the security at all. So you can have it with two cylinders on either side or you can also have it with a turn snip as well. The turn snip just allows the exactly the same as the key. If you order more than one lock and you would like them all to be the same key, we can do that as well. We can um, key match one lock to the next lock. If you would like um, any other options such as high security keying or anything like that, please feel free to email. But this is basically what you get in the pack. Another key important thing to mention is the screws. I'll run you through the screws here. 
don't lose any of the screws they're all important okay this lock does not come with a striker plate as you might have seen it comes with a face plate this face plate simply sits over the top here now when fitting this to the actual door you'll see the cutout for the face plate and you'll see a hole above and a hole below basically uh, the two long screws are used to hold the lock to the actual door two long screws go there the small screw if you have one if they're not all all small like these ones would go there there and there to hold the face plate on use the small screws for them if you use the wrong size screws it will affect the bolt retracting all the way this is your uh, cylinder retaining screws and I'll quickly show you how they go if you can see that they go straight through screw in there and they go through this hole on the cylinder so you put your cylinder in there and simply tighten it up if you do have a lock like this and you just want new replacement cylinders uh, you will need to swap the cam on the back make sure you do them up tight but we do sell them as well in our lock shop so that's the quick look at the Brava 590SC short back mortise lock available from drlock.com.au online thank you